Monday, October the 3rd. Dr. Pig. <laughs> Who else than Dr. Pig? Are you Dave by any chance? Yeah. Yes, what it is. Was it, sir? Oh, I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Pagan. I'm an arch archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. Mm. The sea people? Excuse me? Uh -huh. I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? I feel so lucky. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People civilization lives in legends. They are said to have something, something. They worship fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Something happened to the Sea People who were able to live under the sea, and unfortunately, the text scrolled a bit too fast for me. But like we actually wanted to even know everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more of course but proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place huh? this is an amazing find one that could turn the whole academic world upside down ancient civilization under the sea you would only see such things in comic books or games what makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization, okay? It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investment didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good one. Didn't I mention the crypto earlier? Oh boy. That's why I would like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We are busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Uh -huh. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. Cobra making, hustling some deals here immediately when he smells one. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We will gladly do so. What? Dave acts surprised. We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Pancho Shusha will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Mm, I'm supposed you have a point. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll help. Uh huh, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you are wearing for free. Mm. Wait, well, it's not free upgrade if we have to work for it, but with an enhanced diving suit. Well, I guess if they do it beforehand, yeah, because we can't get 70 meters at the bottom at this moment. With an enhanced diving suit, you will be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing. <laughs> Let's first install iDiver. <laughs> I fix it, iDiver. Another app. Tracking the sea people. So we got the eye diver. The eye diver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere to explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use eye diver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Don't check my passcode. Oh, Dave doesn't even have a passcode on the phone. Run the Iron Diver app. So is this the app that's... F f uh, using your hardware to mine the crypto because the assistant 
failed on her inve or his their investment. We can upgrade the diving suit for zero coins. Diving suit that maintains Dave's temperature underwater. Upgrades make def you know, so we get also less visible to fish. And we can go to 80 meters. Good. Now we'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Or double, it's not the bit. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Yeah. Never forget that anything can happen in deep water. Yeah. I'll be in touch. Chapter 1 Traces of the Sea People. With the upgraded diver suit, time to move on and find. Traces of the Sea People, right? That's what the chapter one is about. It's time for our morning swim. If you die in the water, you will be able to retrieve a single item. Yeah, I think we read that tip earlier. Time for a good swim. And uh, what do we have to do? Find Sea People artifact. 70 meters, so we can go deep. But there's a chest there. Let's go check it out first. It has a gun in it. What is it? Enhanced harpoon. Oh, more harpoon damage. Are we gonna. Oh, and we have this gun, so let's try the gun. Can I shoot this? Boom! Okay. I wonder if you can even... You can... Oh, you can fry egg jellyfish. Nice. Yeah, we can go deeper. No, I think we did like 30 meters earlier. So... Basic underwater rifle bullets. Alright. Let's grab a fish. While we're at it. These guys were... Nasty. you shoot them and then they turn like mm, they get this the color fades a bit I would say okay, here's a rope what did this do escape bot so we can disappear Got the rope and we do oh, the gun Titan trigger fish awesome so what we had to do 70 meters do I have enough oxygen for that We are out of space. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, can we discard something heavy? Tiger fish is 3.8 kilos. Let's drop one of these. All right, so we get some room to work with. What's that? Glass. So we need to find the artifact, or is it this? An ore containing lead. That's gonna be heavy. Yeah. Kelp, a marine plant with a long stem and a single long leaf. It has a savory flavor. And it's used for pots and salads. Yeah, I want to. We need to serve some salad, obviously. Pink shisha. Perfect color. We need some O2. We need to find... This, this is dinosaur, right? A leg bone. Of an old animal, it can probably be used for crafting weapons. Well... Sharp Japanese word. Whoa. Wait, what? You can charge it? Look. Holding and then it turns pink. Nice. Pink seashell. And something else. More ammo. So is this the artifact? 
Sea people artifact. A mysterious artifact that appears to have been made by the sea people. So they are real? Oh, damn. I think that's the one. Hold on. Hold on. How is Dr. Pape? Like, did we report to Dr. Pape and instantly call calls us? And it's like, you found it, boy. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Wait, what is that? That Crockton? That's scary. It's like a huge squid. What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. Yep, except we are a bit heavy. So we're gonna take our sweet time. I mean, is there a reason to drop some stuff? That's really. I think we can use the escape pod. That green. Did Grandma Soup drop here? Gonna check it out. Yep, turmeric. It's a flowering plant of ginger family, native to South Asia. It requires between temperatures 20 and 30 Celsius and a considerable amount of annual rainfall to thrive. And it's not really raining in the sea, right? What else? We're over Coombird. I mean, was this the route we came down? Because there's more loot here. Shock Harpoon. Harpoon dipped up inflicts shock effect. Target is paralyzed. Harpoon damage plus 4. 60% chance to paralyze and movement speed. That's neat. There's some wood there. Well, let's go to the surface. It's like 10 meters. I'm not gonna run out of air, right? Return to the boat. Dr. Pagan arrives. Right, you brought it out safely. Seems to be in a very good condition. Almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. I think Dr. Pagan dropped it in the sea and made us fetch it so we would believe the story. Let's hold on to that thought. Hmm, very interesting. This may be the find of the century. Even. Oh, yeah. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People civilization. I mean, we need to help this guy to upgrade our gear, so... What? I thought I would only be helping you once. Of course, say no more, said Cobra. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliate affiliates. Yeah. That won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. Be in touch. Hi, mister. So now that we came out of the water, we got these rewards, of course, but we lost the uh, weapons we at least accumulated in, on that dive, I think. So when you come out of the water, you lose your stuff. So use it. Don't worry about it. Don't try to recover it because uh, yeah, it's kind of what I missed on the couple of first try dives. So we got 300 gold, olive oil, seems important. Turmeric for our restaurant. Mission completed. Dive log. So this was the fourth dive. We got to 70 meters, five minutes. Five fish. We got this huge titan trigger fish. Then glass, bone, pink shellfish, or I, I have no idea what to do though with those yet, but we'll figure it out. And a couple of new fish and cooking ingredients. Hmm. Oh. And Dave, while you were out at the sea, the repairs were completed. Oh. Let's head to the restaurant. Oh. 
Whoa, it's looking very nice. Yeah, that's it's it doesn't matter how delicious the food is. The restaurant can't be a mess. Who, who repaired this? Wasn't Dave supposed to do it? I guess Pancho. Shoes is now in great shape anyway. You want to change the interior? Interior menu below is open, so please check it. We can actually control it. Nice. You can now freely change up the interior of Pancho Sushi. Use the interior tab to select a style to your liking. Ah, but it's probably gonna cost money. As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come. But there is always a but. This area is kind of remote, so I think I'll need a way to advertise the store until mm. then. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. Uh, have you tried the social media app named Kuksta? Nice. Mm. You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves mm. lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Pancho, oh, don't be so... You're the master chef here. So just put some sushi on the table and let's get some... Hookstuff photographing session going. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm. Hmm, even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Pancho? Mm. Uh, yeah. Good point, Dave. Making account this making an account is simple. So let's try it out. You re first register and make the hashtag Pancho Sushi. Then done. With this one simple step. Well, it's not as complicated as I expected. New customers happy with your food will follow Pancho Sushi. Mm, I'm not sure about this, but okay. I got it. I'll also install the Cookster app on my phone and check the followers' posts. Raise your rating in Cookster. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. So we gotta also maintain a social media page. The unlock conditions of new ratings can be seen in the Cookster app. So we got the interior. Let's check it out. Check that out first. You can just pretty much okay. So you change the art. Gotta appreciate that, and you can buy a new one. I have no idea how much money we have. Thirty-nine. Three hundred and nine. Okay. I guess this menu could have it visible here. Would appreciate it a lot. But Oriental modern. I kind of like it. Or light wood. Just apply this. Can we change anything else? Chairs. Ah, oh, those look fine. Ceiling. I don't like that. Deco one. Let's bonsai tree all the way. Shops looking good. Yeah. Then we get the phone. Get the cook step. Timeline, rank up. And my page. Ooh, this is this how you take a profile picture? It's hard, yeah. Pancho may took a selfie. We can also like it. Nice. Nice crawl it, yeah. Should we just like all our own posts? Copra. Dollar sign, dollar sign. Pancho Sushi Bar's grand opening. You've never tasted sushi like this before. Reasonable prices and great service. Open only in the evenings. Yeah, because otherwise we're just... Uh, okay, you get the recipe by getting followers. My page. And can we actually add anything here? No. Okay. That's cool. Do we have a camera? Minigames? No. Weather? Nope. All. Eye diver, weapon shop. 
apt name is literally weapon shop. I, I bet you, I, I doubt there is a, such an app on the app store currently. Let's see. So we got a ton of new ingredients. We got fried egg jellyfish. It's gonna grow pretty large and you can make sushi out of it. And we got mackerel's cat. We got the kelp. And we got the titan tiger fish, a huge trigger. It's trigger, not tiger, okay. Well, it's like 75 centimeters. That's pretty. To do these kind of, do the fish expire? Doesn't seem so. Can I do the menu? Also, we like kind of, let's try to, we can add new recipes here. Gonna add that one. I have some bulk items also. Auto supply. All the max, max, max of that. What else? Black spot. So we can enhance when there's this uh, green arrow. Let's do it. The animation's so cool. Some items on the menu. There's something new in the interior still. Oh, there's Deco 4. We got a bit of photo in here. Copra's picture. Oh, let's put it on. Nice. We go back to. I see. Talking to Pancho, I know things are busy during the day, but if the ingredients aren't ready, we'll be able to sell Norimaki. I see. Be sure to get things ready. I think everything is kind of ready. You can actually go fishing, right? <laughs> things are looking good. If you want to change to do a different style, try changing it in the interior menu. Oh, we did it. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. Let's go fishing some more fish. Uh, but before that, we check our diver box. So we have the harpoon gun and some of this equipment here. So if we check our phone, can we buy anything? Not enough materials. Can we upgrade air tank? I actually would like to. Is there a way to bring up more stuff? Maybe this one? So you can bring more fish. Yeah, that's definitely beneficial. Let's take the bigger air tank also. And we can even one more cargo box. Great. And time for a afternoon dive. What's the, oh, that's double fish, okay. A dolphin? Question mark, said Dave. Dolphin sounds. Ah, dolphin. Hmm, it seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? That's a good question. Of course. Dolphin's request. Oh, now we're talking to dolphins. We're definitely not trying to make dolphin sushi here. I'm not hitting any of the fish. Oh no.
It's actually waiting. It looks like a 3DS and it's just like pretty. Wait, I gotta grab this like shock harpoon. It's level two. There's even better shock harpoon. Okay, nice. Let's follow the dolphin. Dolphin is caught in the net. I'm so glad mm. we came to help this dolphin. So it was asking me to rescue its friend. Mm. I should cut the net. I agree. Carefully, but definitely scrap iron. Remove very rusty street steel frame. And then a nut. Wait. So how do you cut it? Okay. Never seen a pink dolphin, but I guess it's a video game, so. Or are they real? I don't know. Let's imagine. It looks pretty. Huh. It seems to have left a gift. I didn't know even dolphins had mates. We completed dolphins rescue. So it's cool, like, every, every dive you've gotten something completely different. Pearl. Pearl acquired from pearl oysters. It's probably worth a lot of money. Or we can use it to decorate our sushi restaurant. That's the better thing to do. Ooh, an iron. Let's see what's in the weapon box. Wranglizer harpoon. Captures creatures of the highest grade. It's pretty good. Blackfish. I think I mentioned that you should focus on single fish type each dive, but oh, that was a different mini game. We ain't gonna leave this plating. Oh, you gotta react with A and A. Can we just use the gun? Thank you. Black and white snapper. I mean, I don't wanna leave it bleeding here. And the harpoon wasn't really being effective. Or the mini game prompted real quick. Shock, bang stick. So with the high quality katana, you could charge it, but this doesn't have a charge attack. Oh wait, we're out of oxygen. Game over? Freaking shark just appeared? Oh my, oh my. Oh, you always gotta watch out your oxygen, Dave. Oh. Well, I guess we ran out of oxygen because the shark bit our gear off. When being rescued, you will only be able to retrieve a one item. Well, we're gonna recover the pearl. I wasn't prepared for a shark attack. Oh. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you are in danger to get out. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collect. So it was a dive over, not game over per se. Right, so we get the pearl. Already mm -hmm. evening, I feel stiff. Even so, Pancho's working alone, I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. 
mission, not enough workers. Let's go to the sushi bar. What happened to the pearl? Guess we can do something with it later. Time to serve some sushi. And the boom boxes. Or it's not a boom box, but the speakers are cool. And now we get the health inspection. Oh my, oh my. This is Pancho Sushi Place, huh? Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Kuksta. The name gave me pause, but I think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A takitron, but masculine chef. Whoa, do they mention me too? No, not really. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you are still the same. Well, there is nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion. That's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again. So obviously, Yoshi and Banjo have a history. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? to keep making that terrible food. What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in quick cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop, you've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. So I guess it's not the health inspection, maybe it's the food inspector. Or it clearly is like Pancho's old uh, friend here, let's say that. And I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Pancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get me a, a white tip, reef shark head and olive oil. Well, I guess we found the shark. I guess that was scripted, maybe? You want me to catch a white tip, reef shark? Yes, with your skills, it should be easy enough to do. But the harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you in the battle. Even so, fighting, sh fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you will just stand by and watch while my bride is trampled? The white tipped reef shark is usually found in the ocean, far to the right. Good luck. Okay, so I guess from the diving spot you can go right, right, right. Shannon, he suddenly wants me to get him a shark hat. This is pre preposterous. Can only be killed with a gun. Mm. Have to ask Duff to make him a gun. Search for one in the blue hole. Don't we already have a gun? Or a, a one of sort? You can have a special customer. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear off the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customer. You can also research open now. You can now research new recipes, use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. E to open research. Oh no. First research. So we got the whole roasted shark hat. Yes, I don't actually know what the six mile is mean. Left control for details. Uh, the head of white reef shark that's been deep fried whole. Whoa. Pretty heavy. I just fry it in olive oil, okay. Uh, I don't know if I would try that. An artisan's flame will be used to research new menus. 
we can actually research this. Yo, dude had his finger on fire. Research has been completed. Gain new cooking recipe, cooking inspiration. Increase your cooks to grade. Your staff may inform you when they grow. Uh, how do they grow? Are we hiring kids or something? Please not. Special customers may give you heads up too. So our cook master chef Pancho doesn't teach us recipes. Well, I guess he knows already what he knows, which is white tip shark head fried chicken thing. Right. What's on the menu here? Do we have enough items? I don't think so. I think I would swap that. On the menu, just swap. We have I only almost single one of those. That's what? It's eight coins, just one. We just put it in this. Okay. Oh, it's gonna discard it. Yeah, not do it. Can we just open? Was the menu full? Yeah, it was. Can we just open it and we get to fishing or sharking next day? Oh, so the, there is our. So I guess that's a meter for. Good. I think that's a meter for. What, what you call that? Wasabi. So that's the wasabi machine, so we need to prepare more wasabi if it runs out. I, because I was previously wondering what the meter is for. So it goes down with each portion we serve here. We get some cooks the ratings now. Get thumbs up here. <coughs> Next one. Is this lady gonna hang out here until we catch the shark? That's that's pretty neat. Oh yeah. I was just wondering, like, he looks like a lady who would do, be doing inspection with the notepad. That's good. Everybody's leaving. Most of them left us a review. That's really awesome. <laughs> didn't run out of wasabi. We didn't also run out of sushi. You can see here in the middle. One, uh, two of those didn't get served. So cooks the gold rank. We got six likes. I don't know if we got any followers. Five artisans flames. Top sales from the blue tanks. And 37 net profit. Okay, okay. Don't really make a ton of money out of the sushi yet. 